As creative coders, sometimes we need help finding inspiration. So I want to talk today about inspiration, getting ideas and inspiration. We'll check out Reddit, the 3JS subreddit, creative coding subreddit, and the generative subreddit. We'll go to Twitter, we'll take a look at our favorite people there, and then lastly, we'll dig into our own code and see what kind of variations we can come up with. But first, I'd like to thank Exponent. Click the link in the description to enjoy a 20% discount on their subscription today. Let's go to Reddit, to the, the 3JS forum on Reddit. How to recreate this, fact, this hover effect on this Luma text. That's such a cool effect. And I wonder if Anderson Mancini is gonna comment. I don't see him in here, because he did a similar effect on his site. Come back, to, come back later. <laughs> Use a plain custom material, orthographic camera, GLS shader that takes JavaScript on mouse move. Yep, that sounds all good. By using a fluid-like material text, we'll see what that looks like. What is this? Distortion for 3G React Fiber? What, let's see what that looks like in this code sandbox. Wait for it. I'm gonna have to make this bigger. Yeah, that's it. That's great. This would be a fun one to explore. That's great. I'm gonna upvote that guy. Here's a similar example. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, that's nice, Wawa Sensei. I like it. Uh, it looks like a video is playing on that text. Oh. Cool. Or is it just a masked scene? Oh, I love it. Great idea. I kind of want to write this down. Uh, another place to look is x.com. Look at what Simon Dev is doing. I think he's adding, oh, what is this? Hang on a second. Well, that's pretty cool. Love it, love it. Creepy, but I love it. What else? What's this? Fireflies demo? What does this look like? Go, go. Impressive, beautiful. Oh yeah, that's nice too. What else besides Twitter and Reddit? I neglected to comment on uh, generative. Oh yeah, generative has some cool stuff. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's lovely. I, I don't know what the heck's going on here. Oh, I see. It's a ballpoint pen portal. I hate it. Because it's so jittery. Loop magic. I'm not seeing anything in here that's grabbing me. Whoa, that's the, the colors and the hues and the values are beautiful there. That's bizarre. Generative, 3JS, also abstract art, creative coding, subreddit. Yeah, and it has, wait, how many people are in it? Oh, 35,000. Cool. Mondrian cubed. And occasionally you'll come across someone who's doing the coolest thing and you can kind of dig in deeper. For me, let's see, saved, I want saved. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Let's go to this one and see who posted it. Complex Twister. You could just dig into that user and see what else they post. Oh, that's nice. Rainbow drops. I like the transformation. What is this? <gasps> that's so cool. Oh, I like that too. Knock, knock. And it makes the little Vornoi tiles fall down. Beautiful. Love the colors. 
Yeah. So find something cool and then find the artist that created it. What, what is this? Oh, that's so beautiful. And dig in. Sometimes I come in here and start coding and I haven't got any idea of what to do. And I'll look around at some of the previous junk I've done and maybe try to tweak it and do something new with it. Hitting an idea again and again. Let's just see what one of these looks like. The Matter JS. So this was the idea of using physics in an art project. And this is what I came up with. This was inspired by Mr. Dube's ball pool, uh, which was done not in 3D, but I really liked it. So this is a 2D physics simulation with a bunch of balls. It's gotta be somewhere out on the web, even though it's like 20 years old now. There it is. There we go. And you can spawn a bunch more balls. I always love this one. Look at that springiness. Isn't that great? And when you reload, you get a new color palette. And just create a bunch more balls. Let's fill this son of a gun up. Can't remember what happens when you fill the screen. They start compressing more and more. It's getting a little choppy. It's a little bit unhappy. Oh my god. Reload, get a new color palette, and a new color palette. So nice. So yeah, that's what this was inspired by. I think Mr. Dupes was much, far more effective. And I start iterating on this like, oh, because it's 3JS, why don't I try some of the features of 3JS, like lighting, um, hang on. Oh, this one, I, I said, oh, well, let's emit particles from the ball and see what happens. And I thought that was meh. Uh, those particles look a little bit better. Whoops, I think I just threw him off the screen. Click and grab him and throw him off the screen. Oh, what about this one? Oh, this, this is kind of a smoky effect. I like that too. Uh, moving on, to how about something noise related? I'm very interested in noise. I think noise is a tool for a code artist's palette that's very useful for the shape of models, using it in colors, using it for animation. That's a shader particle engine. I never really got any good use out of that. Cube paint. This is just creating a bunch of cubes um, without erasing the screen. Not very successful. On this lines example. This became a, a legit project in 2024 exploding lines yeah this evolved nicely i'm curious now again to take something from 3js and apply it to this piece like what would it look like if these guys could cast shadows and if they interacted with light to get these lines to interact with light i think that would be cool there's just a few ideas on what to do when you're stuck creatively or where to go for ideas. Real quick, another comment is set aside time every day, even if it's only for 15 minutes, to just put your hands on a keyboard and create some code. Doing it every day is going to help those juices flow more easily. Strongly recommend having a habit of creating. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.